Hi Taurus, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Taurus, this is your love reading starting today on the 3rd of August. And I am um, starting it the usual way. I'm just using your spiritual path or your awakening path as a foundation for your reading. So my intention is that whoever is resonating with this message is, is drawn here to receive this message. And um, for the extended, I'm going to use a guided meditation, an intuitive meditation that might help you to open up more about the message that's being given here right now. Uh, so if you feel drawn to that, look that up in the description box when this reading is over. You will feel if you feel drawn to that or not. So I'm going to start to look into what's going on for you in your love life, in your love relationship as a awakening path as a foundation for that. I'm using the Mystical Wisdom, beautiful card deck uh, as a foundation as well to get your general story up and running and then I'm clarifying it with the magical unicorns. And if you listen to me before, you know that peacocks that we have there and unicorns have been my indicator that a soulmate connection is near and dear. So it's, it's, that's Doreen Virtue. So, let's start to shuffle and see what we can find for you, Taurus, in your love story. Starting now. And the meditation in the extended is just somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes to help you open up and connect. This might take a while to get your foundational cards. You might want to... Fast forward. Taurus love story on your awakening path. Taurus love story on your awakening path. It's also a happy full moon today. We have a full moon in Aquarius, I believe. And so there's a lot of new energy going on. We have the 88 portal on the 8th of, of um, or rather 888 portal on the 8th of August. There's a lot of changes going on right now. You might be feeling them. Yeah, like a thought. Fast forward, please. There you go. There you go. Yeah, wow. So we have immediately the unicorn connection there. And it's around the blood moon. I mean, it's a gorgeous... We have the full moon today. And it's in, it's my, it's my. so interesting because we have the big... And the card is being reversed by the camera. And it's a new camera today or hopefully just a few days. I'm, yeah, long story short, it's another camera. And I'm learning to work with it as it's learning to work with me. And uh, we have choices on the bottom. You see that it's being reversed, and I'm keeping it in for now. Um, we have a big moon there, and there's a unicorn connection, like it's in the palm of your hand. So some of you guys are already with your person, like you're holding it. Some of you guys, I see this is as a single parent with a child. Obviously, it could be a man as well, but a single parent as a child. So there's um, whatever situation you're going through right now, uh, Taurus, whether you're single with a child wanting this soulmate connection to happen or actually having this this is quite interesting having this soulmate connection happening having it in the palm of your hand like you're already holding it you're already seeing it but feeling single with a child or children feeling single with children that might be the case as well there's something with the blood moon or something around it and i know that was a gentle soul that wrote to me because I know that was it was a blood moon situation going on for and maybe that was you Taurus back then as well. But I, I know that there was a um, message for some around a blood moon and I think it was a gentle soul. I don't, I don't think it was a gentle soul. It was a gentle soul. They came out with saying that the blood moon was happening I think in November of this year next blood moon is in, in november so that might be significant to some of you guys okay 
So this is just almost telling a story. It's, it's very much a flow. It's quite interesting energy here because I feel like for you, Taurus, if, you, if it were to just read into your energy, there's a big flow happening in your life, a really big flow happening. And maybe that's due to your awakening path. You're opening up for stuff. You're moving stuff along. Things are moving along the way you want them to. So there's like a big flow here. I feel the flow of it. Um, still, there could be that you're a bit stagnant in the way that the unicorn situation, the, the soulmate connection is happening. Looking forward to it wanting it to in the in the palm of your hands or already having it by feeling single so we're going to go deeper into that and see what's going on there and then when you talk about this full moon today on the third uh and i believe that it's happening in aquarius this is my aquarius card so my aquarius card is speaking about this is originality on the bottom and blaze your own trail like this is so the aquarius energy to sort of go where nobody else has gone before, to sort of think in new ways, new, very innovative ideas. Like, oh, so the wheel was in, already invented. Yeah, and so most other people would just think that just using the wheel because somebody else already invented it would be the easiest thing to do. But Aquarius is like, meh, not so interested in the wheel. Can we, can we get, do you want an upgrade on the wheel? I don't want an upgrade. I want something else. I want something that is as beneficial to us as a wheel, but something completely different. Like I want to go where some, no, nobody has ever gone before. And this is on your awakened path. It's also on your, um, when it comes to your love relationships on that awakened path. So what's going on with you, Taurus, it feels like you're choosing somewhat a different route than most people would do. You're choosing what sort of maybe is not very conventional or very normal and so whether this is you being single and wanting a relationship or whether this is you being in a relationship and just wanting out of it or wanting to be single or wanting to f or feeling single even though you're in a relationship and you want it, you want sort of an upgrade in the relationship whatever you're doing you're going about it in a very trailblazing way in a very new and inventive way that not, and maybe you're going, not really, like I'm just doing, but you're not, Taurus. You really are not doing it in the most conventional way. You're, if, if you were to say to other people what you're doing and how you're thinking about this relationship, most people wouldn't even get it. Most people wouldn't understand what you're doing and wouldn't understand the path that you're choosing. And not that you need to tell them, I'm just so that you understand that what you're doing is quite unconventional and I think, yeah, okay. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to go into the um, clarification around these. And I'm using the magical unicorns. So clarification for these choices and for this Aquarius energy. You might be dealing with an, an Aquarius as well. Or you might be a cross watcher that is a, an Aquarius for your Taurus then this message is for you as well okay hmm. interesting so um the first card that comes out underneath the choices underneath that like, are you in a relationship? Are you not? Do you want a relationship? Do you not? Um, I do apologize because this camera is picking up like the how the lighting is in this room is very like wavy through the video. But as I come closer with this, I think once it focuses on the card, it sort of takes that away, hopefully. Um, okay, so what I get here is that some of you guys, you, you are already with your person, but you're looking elsewhere. You're looking... You're looking to find either you want out of this relationship or you're sort of not connecting with your partner right now. And it's so interesting because it said, listen to your true feelings. And then on the bottom it says, uh, don't let others talk you in, into doing something that you know is wrong. 
And I think it's not let so much that you're doing something that is wrong. I just think that this is this is you blaze trailing, trailblazing. Um, this is exactly what I talked about, like how you're you're finding out. Like I see this as your person. There is a soulmate connection here. We have a soulmate connection because it's two, it's two unicorns. It is a unicorn deck. Like we have magical unicorns is what it's called. But there's a lot of horses in here in this deck and not unicorns as well. So um, I see this as a, as a soulmate connection, a deep, a deep connection, a deep level connection. And you're very similar in one way and very not in another. It doesn't mean that you can't stay together for because of that or that you need to get ap apart because of that it just sort of gives you an opportunity to give more to each other because you come sort of from different perspectives i guess i could say um but there's something to this you're thinking about it in the way that not most people would do and have people tell you what to do is sort of not your thing like just trust that inner guidance trust that inner trust the path that you're on because it's the right path for you and don't listen to others not about you're doing something that is wrong but i think that maybe others have opinions about what maybe even about your relationship um and just continue whether this is you sort of looking like you're looking elsewhere you're looking to go elsewhere is this not the relationship for you that's that's sort of what you're figuring out right now and you're not doing doing it the the conventional way it's very unconventional and it's completely fine because it's your way so continue to do that and then we have this grandparent is coming up and it's because it came out so clearly For the Aries reading, uh, this is weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm taking a bit of time here to sort this out. Okay, this is this message is not for all. um so what i pick up here this is very this is crazy so there might be a grandparent there might be an actual grandparent in your life having all these opinions and stuff going on for you that you're choosing the wrong path or you're doing something wrong or like to sort of just i think they can, can be quite forceful be quite sort of in your face and to sort of just get away from that what it feels like get away from that energy that is one story coming through and then another story coming through is quite up there or out there the connection that you have with your soulmate follow me on, follow me on this now you have had so many different incarnations with so many different people but in particular some people did we just keep choosing over and over again it's like we're it's like we're building this, it's like on this earth plane right now, if you have kids, Taurus, you know what it's like to sort of foster them and nurture them and, and build their family home and, and everything around them. It's not like all of a sudden, if somebody else said, hey, do you want to swap families? Oh, uh, no, I'd rather keep my own kids or, and because like I've come so far now. <laughs> I've gotten to know them and uh, I know their names and stuff. And so, nope, I'm not so interested in, in swapping. So, no, I'd rather keep my family. This is exactly what I feel like we feel before coming here. It's like, do you want to switch it up? No, no, Lord, no. This is the 1,012th time that we're doing this actual incarnation in this very form. We're getting somewhere now. Like we're really figuring figuring it out now. I would never want to swap right now. Like we can change it up later, but right now, nope. I'm going in as is, as it has been. Um, 
there's something, like I said, follow me here. There's something about this grandparent, like I get this ancestry feeling that you've connected in with this soulmate this time around on this earth plane in these most awakening times. And this might not be for all of you guys. It, it might be very specific. But there might be somebody out there that feels like, yeah, but the road ends here. And it's sort of right this very moment. We'll go deeper into this because I want more clarification on this. This very moment, it feels like it can go either. This is so interesting because we have this feeling here as well. Like, am, am I single with a child or am I with this person? Or are you with this person feeling single with a child? You know, what is it? It's like, it's like you're in between, like you're choosing. I am with this person, but I'm looking elsewhere. Should I stay or should I go? Um, why not go? Because ancestry wise, because I can't even say bloodline, because it's not really bloodline as much as, as it is frequency line. Like, and as much as we want to think of it as past and present and future, it's more like all happening simultaneously. So it's something around the lines, literally around the lines of you've chosen this so many times. There's a, there's a very distinct ancestry, grandparent -y feeling around this so that you wanting to shift now is like, oh, what? No, you can't, we can't break the change. Like you change. We can't break the change. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you can't break the chain. It's like we we set up we set it up this way. We we decided to come back and we decided to and it's like yeah I know but I'm I'm sort of taking it the the Aquarian way like I I might want to do this differently. It might be the very thing that I'm breaking this off here and the very thing that I have such a trouble sometime to breaking it off is because you've come back. It's like you were going to leave your family right now. It's, it, it was, it's like you're going to sort of just say, it's like you're going to, if you're in a family unit with one or two or three or however many kids you have, or if you're in a family unit with just the other person and, and a couple of dogs or, you know, you built this family life together and you, you sort of come home today and take one final look at them and say, I'm going to go now. You will feel that pull of, of like, oh, that's going to be a tough one to just, just like that, say goodbye. So, and I don't, I don't feel like this is particularly you saying goodbye to your dogs or you saying goodbye to your children even. This is you, perhaps, it's not even a sure thing, it's you thinking about, should I break this chain this ancestry chain of coming back over and over again and keep evolving together or should I stay together? Why? And also that's the answer to why is it so freaking tough to leave? It's because it's, it's because you've been with this person in so many different constellations. It's not even possible to, to name that it's tough to just walk away. Not that you remember that now. It's not like you're going to remember who they were. 200 lives ago, you know, but oh, sorry, it's that feeling of no, I want, I want to be here and I want like this time around, I want to stay here and I want to work it out. So it's a very fascinating energy what's going on here. So can we, can we go deeper into this? This, okay, whether to let go or stay or can we get some energy clearance around that? I get, I get to, yeah. It's just a clarification for the Aquarius energy again. It's okay to be different. It's, it's the card. You don't need to be like other, like everyone else. You're just perfect as you are. 
And then we have a squirrel there. A squirrel for me that speaks about like out with the old and in with the new. Out with the old and in with the new. You have to feel this one. Uh, and maybe this is what I'm taking to the um, intuitive meditation in the extended if you're interested in it. That will really sit with this for you to feel to, for you to feel whether to stay in this or for, or for you to feel whether you should let it go. It doesn't mean that you then do that. But at least it might help you to get clearer. Because then we have finished what you started. You started something important and now it's time to complete it. So it's leaning towards just because everybody else is doing you know, certain things. He could say, because everybody else was going to leave this situation, doesn't mean that you necessarily have to leave the situation. Or because everybody else would have stayed, because it's just easier to say, doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stay. You follow what feels true to you. Out with the old and in with the new. So something's, something's got to ch change here. Something has to change. It cannot stay the same. It's being replaced with, with new energy. And whether that is going to sort of keep your person around or if the person is actually going to re be replaced with somebody else, I feel like only time can tell and only you can tell. Finish what you started. So whatever this flowy feeling I get, whatever you've gotten yourself into, <laughs> sounds like you better work it out. That's not what I mean. But whatever you've started right now, that I feel like it's very flowy in your life, maybe more towards, like I said, towards the awakened path. Continue on that path and continue to complete that. And it's like after that, you'll know. After that, you'll know. I don't like to leave you guys here. It's. Can I just get some more? Is it possible to get some more clarification around this? so up in the air and I want you to feel like you at least some more clarification in this please yeah so what this is telling me is that like to every other answer it's sort of what i already said but yeah it clarifies it so we have the first uh, card is water and the second one is share but what i pick up here is that when you raise your vibration so that's that's sort of what i already said but it, it, it clarifies it when you raise your vibration like when when you drink water and literally i mean that you just nurture your body with water i just keep being people are like can you stop with the water already? But, like, you need water. Uh, the water helps the energy through the body to, to, to travel. You sort of, I don't want to say that you can't raise your vibration unless you drink water, but somewhat you can't. And, but the contrary, you can raise your vibration so freaking much if you drink water. So if you water your body, you, you nourish your body, like you nourish your children. You nourish your body like you nourish your children. It's so beautiful, this card. The way you nourish your children, nourish your body. Roses, for me, holds the highest vibration out of all the flowers, and you're surrounded by roses in this. So it's like, okay, so rise to the occasion. Raise your vibration. Get up there and nourish yourself and treat yourself like in to, to get into the highest vibration and you will know. So that's the answer. You'll know if you raise your vibration. Don't don't make a decision because everybody else is telling you to, because it's not the very most conventional way to do this, because it's not blah blah blah. It's the Aquarian way to do this. And only you know how to do this. But even though it's very unconventional and even though it's like on your terms. And, you're, and you might actually break this ancestry. That might be the actual thing that is the Aquarian thing. That, yeah, most people would write this out. But 
you're like, no, I know we decided this, but I feel like from here on out, I'm going to go a different route and see where that takes me or takes us even. Uh, but only you will know and you will know when you nourish yourself and when you raise your vibration, you will have an answer. I'm going to continue and see what else I can find around this message on uh, the extended and also do this little intuitive meditation where I guide you through this, whatever comes through for me, trusting the guidance in the moment that is like somewhere between five and 10 minutes guided meditation. So if you feel drawn to that, uh, the link is in the description box. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening. I hope it really helps you. Take care. Bye, Taurus.